going back to Syria, it's kind of funny how Obama and a lot of other people in the United States were considering invading Syria because of the chemical weapons. And how for a second Vladimir Putin was starting to become the nation's hero because he didn't want anything to do with the war. He didn't want this imperialism. He didn't want any of that to affect Syrians. And the higher ups of Syria aren't necessarily bad people. I'm gonna go out and put that on a limb. At least on a genetic level. The higher ups aren't that bad. However, there's also the claim of the fact that it wasn't the people in the military that were using the chemical weapons, it was the rebels. However, all of this could be said back when it was relevant in September, before the government shutdown made it all irrelevant, and all the subsequent issues have completely killed the subject. I'm pretty sure now is the time to basically say that the concept of war crimes needs to be overlooked. It's a losing battle, yet a lot of this is true. I mean, I saw a little snippet of things that are considered war crimes, and while it's not absolutely ridiculous, the Geneva Conventions and everything post World War Two is abominable. Abominable. Wait, abominable. Shit. This is what happens when you play video games seven hours a day and you're not used to that. <sighs> a certain part of your brain shuts down. One important issue that I did mention was the chemical weapon issue. Chemical weapons are treated like they're the epitome of evil and pain and destruction and all this sort of stuff. And people kind of react to it in a knee-jerk fashion where, alright, it is really painful prior to dying when you get hit with that chemical weapon. Nerve gas, whatever, it hurts. It's, it doesn't feel good, and it is cruel, but that's the most pussy thing I ever heard. So you can kill a mass amount of people with this thing, and it's bad because it's cruel. Well, to be honest, that's war. Only white people in Western civilization undergoing first world problems will consider this a big issue. And that's why we're having this sort of imperialism. Because non-whites would look at this and think, this is fucking stupid. Unless they're in Western civilization, and they're proselytized, and they're Americanized. And then they'll say, alright, this stuff is cruel and needs to stop. That's just it. Another issue is torture. Should torture be illegal? And I remember my law teacher made a big deal about the fact that the fact that we tortured the wrong person, that's the reason why 9-11 happened. It should have happened in 96, it happened in 2001. And it doesn't get juicier than that, but that's what a lot of these war crimes feel like. 
And they are a response, a reaction to the atrocities. It's always that word, atrocities, of the Holocaust. So it does sound like that. But, really. Torture, illegal. I mean, there's no getting around that. Torture. Now, I wouldn't want to be tortured if they suspected me of being a war criminal, but we're talking about domestic issues here, if we're going there, but in terms of war, let's say you torture a civilian. It sucks, but damn. You're going to find loopholes to that. There's going to be advanced interrogation tactics. There's going to be semantics games being played. There's going to be stuff like Victor's Justice to do away with all these crimes and these penalties and these court cases. You're never going to get around that. Torture is going to happen. And it's not just with military. It's with any enforcement or overt action. There's always going to be a situation where a defenseless person is going to be broken down for purposes of information. That fucking happened. It sucks. Been through it, but in smaller cases, of course. But that's just that. I mean... Hmm. What else? I know there's one that was really ridiculous. Okay, putting people, civilians or criminals, in work camps. This one's obvious, of course, because of the connection to the Holocaust, and also a connection to the United States putting its Japanese people in camps and discriminating against them. This one is dumb because it's something that really does need to happen right now. So, it's not just the fact that this stuff happens and it's natural in any part of military interaction or enforcement of anything, any state in aversion or political action. No, this is something that really does need to happen. Some people do need to put in, be put in the camps. And maybe even the ovens. Maybe he's talking about basketball right now. Anyway. One thing that I will concede to is the fact that... And this is something I feel bad for saying, but... Damage to religious... Buildings, historical artifacts, let's say a museum, and let's say people's homes, to a lesser extent. I'm saying this to avoid being a hypocrite because some people around the spheres I associate with would get the feels if, let's say, A religious building, like a Stoics place, were to get destroyed, or if a church was to be burned down or blown up, or let's put this out there right now if a museum full of original artifacts that do matter, that do have an important role. For something that would happen millenniums ago, it's of high quality, it's good that we still have it. Let's say that gets destroyed. Now that's terrible. Because stuff like that is priceless. And when something is priceless and it gets destroyed, then there's a problem.
at the same time, stuff like this needs to be reconsidered. I'd say that we put the chemical weapon thing in priority. I know using nukes and nuclear bombs, that's probably going to be a big issue since we shouldn't be freely allowed to use nuclear bombs. I would agree on something like that. But the camp thing, that definitely needs to be dealt with because we need camps. Chemical weapons shouldn't be treated as this big issue. I mean, they've been used in metropolitan areas by terrorists a couple of times. And while they do strike a mass scale, they hurt people much more than they actually kill. I think it's like a few thousand people would get killed and maybe 20 or less would... I mean, a few, like 5,000 people would get hurt and then 20 or less would get killed. So, it's all stuff I gotta take with a grain of salt. Chemical weapons is becoming more of a buzzword. It's becoming something people use to demagogue and get their policies across. That we need to invade this place because these things exist. They could exist anywhere. I mean, chemicals are easy to find access to, and it's a big reason why the gun control issue is becoming less of a gun issue, because really, now terrorists and people that are causing mass violence are going to use guns as much as they use bombs or stuff that they can find from various household appliances, i.e., the terrorist attacks during the Boston Marathon. Anyway, those are my two cents. I know my opinion isn't necessarily worth much. However, it's my fucking channel. I can say whatever the fuck I want. If you don't like that, this is Mr. Walker 7 and you can suck my dick.